everyone how's it going so i just want to let you know i got my car back here it is and so it was about an hour drive from the service center uh to my house um, i did make a couple of stops on the way and had heat the entire time no warnings came up or anything like that but yeah so i went to the uh, service center this morning to pick up my car so i love the service center um no issues with the heat i kept it about uh, 70 degrees the entire ride up it is about 40 degrees out uh, right now. The temperature was about 32 this morning. Kept it about 70 degrees, felt comfortable, had my heated seat on um, one bacon. But yeah, so far so good. I'm very glad to, to have my car back. I do hope that this new update that's incoming fixes the issue. I do not have the update. Um, I'm currently running, uh, let's see here, 2021.44.30. Uh, um, I guess there's a 2021.44.30.6 that is supposed to keep that little flap open in the, the front of the car that is causing the issue. So we will see, but uh, I'll give another update uh, once it gets a little bit colder out, driving the car, if I have any other future issues. But uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I woke up this morning, preheated my car. It's about like 80 degrees, preheated fine, no issues, no warnings or anything like that. So I ran some errands this morning, came home, parked my car, ran some more errands, and I just got back and I'm installing the dot seven update now. So we'll see how that uh, fares in the next few days. It is gonna be pretty cold tomorrow. It's supposed to be like in the, the single digits, minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow. I was supposed to get some really cold Arctic air. I'm actually gonna take the car for a drive tomorrow and try and do some like highway driving and and try that out and see if I have any issues. But apparently there is a, uh, a flap in the very front of your grill. If you go to the front of your Tesla Model Y, I'm gonna throw up some video right now. There's a little um, flap that kind of opens and closes and it gets stuck open. And apparently it allows the, the cold air to, to come in and it goes past the uh, those pressure sensors and it tells the system you know, to shut off a heat pump, therefore your heat doesn't work. So I guess the software update with this entails is it keeps the heat pump running even though those flaps are stuck open. So if you get any ice buildup in those flaps, just go to the front of your car and kind of make sure there's no ice buildup. But I've noticed driving my Tesla, I haven't really had any, like I don't know how ice buildup would get there unless it's raining or there's a precipitation in the air or snow. So I know when I've had these issues, it really hasn't been snowing, it's just been really cold. So I don't know if the compressor down there leaks water or maybe I might've driven into a puddle. It's it's so hard to kind of pinpoint exactly what causes the ice buildup on there. So that's just something to uh, to keep in mind. But I hope Tesla comes up with a, a permanent fix because all of these posts I'm reading, a lot of these experts who work with heat pumps say they're pretty inefficient under you know, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So just the way the system works is pretty interesting. And I just hope Tesla comes up with a permanent fix rather than just a little software update to keep the flap opening. Cause I don't know if that's gonna cause any, any future issues. Um, you know, if you're an expert with heat pumps and AC and, and all of that, please leave a, a comment in the, uh, the comments below.